South Africa. I'm not even sure. The tasting of the Fair Trade Wine was held here at Siena College, where students and teachers came out to support the event. The man talking about these wines is our very own Norm Cavan. Chardonnay gets its flavor, its traditional flavor, from both the grape that it's made from and the fact that it's kept in oak kegs to age initially. His insights on the wines help some of the students better understand the necessity of the forms and shapes that some of the wine bottle takes. Norm was telling us because it was pretty informative because he goes into about like in depth about how the wines made, how the, diff the differences between them, like even down to the point it's like why like the bottle shaped the way it is. There are five different wines at this fundraiser and only one was fair trade. It was a fundraiser for uh, the Big Old Boys Fund. Funny thing was that they only could get one fair trade wine, so there were five different wines that we tried and four of them were organic and one was fair trade, so just kind of showed how fair trade wine isn't really mass produced yet. I'm sure if you went somewhere like was it Whole Foods or whatever down the street, you'll probably see a lot of fair trade there. The idea behind fair trade is to help benefit the workers. The idea of fair trade and um, how they treat their employees better and really what fair trade stands for and that's why it's um, important to promote it. The idea falls into that because the whole point is to ensure that the common worker is also able to benefit from it. It's not like struggling to live, but it's being paid for what they're working for. From the food choices to the delicious wines offered, many of the students and teachers enjoy their experience with fair trade. The food was delicious. Also, probably the best wine I've had. I'm not much of a wine drinker. <laughs> I like the dessert too. I like a lot of the food. Then I ended with everyone gaining a little more knowledge about wines. Taylor Gilfonso, The Green and the Gold.